Sometimes we have to export multiple maps of the same extent or the same site but with different layers. So exporting multiple maps for each of the layers it will take a lot of time and a lot of effort. So it is better if we can automate that process. So here I have several layers of the same site and I need to export separate maps for each of these layers. I have several raster layers and also I have a vector layer. I'm going to do this by using a Python code. I will provide the link to the code in the video description. When you follow that link, you will be directed to GitHub and here I have provided the documentation and the description of the code. So you can read through this documentation and understand the code. I have provided a step by step guide showing how to run the code. Here I have provided the link to the code which I have also included here. So you can go to this link and from here you can copy the code and come back to Arc and uh, open a notebook. So to open a notebook, go into insert notebook and now paste the code into the cell. So before running the code, there are several things that I have to check. So I'll go into my layout. So this is the layout that I am planning to export and I have to make sure all the layers so here you can see uh, I have arranged the layers uh, within a group layer. So I have to make sure the group layer is toggled on. And uh, because uh, if the group layer is not toggled on, it won't appear on the layout. So I will toggle on the group layer and uh, I will toggle off all the layers that I am planning to export. And if there are any other layers in your map, make sure those layers are toggled off. But uh, the layers that you need to see in, in all the maps, for example, the base, base layer, I need the base layer to appear in all the maps. So I will keep it toggled off. Okay, now uh, our map and the map layout is ready to be exported. So I will go into the notebook and uh, run the code. So when I run the code, it uh, prompt me to enter some details. So first it asks for the name of the map. So this is the map where all these layers are saved. So it is this map. So the name is map. And after entering, press enter. Then it asks for the name of the layout. So this is the layout that I'm going to export. So the name of the layout is site one and then press enter. Then I have to give a list of layer names separated by comma. So I have to get the name of the layer from this uh, content panel. So I have to provide it as a list separated by comma. So I will start entering the name of the layers. Make sure that uh, you have the same spellings and don't add additional spaces after comma. So I have added the list of layers that I am planning to export. So basically the code will export separate maps for each of these layers that we enter. And after entering the list of names, then again press enter. Then it asks for the output for the location. 
So I will give the folder location for the output files. Then press enter. Then it asks for a file prefix. So this is the base name for all the exported maps. Then it asks whether I need to export the maps with the layer names. I say yes and press enter. Okay, now the code is running. And uh, if you go to a layout, you can see the layers are changing, which means the code is running. So you can see now it is changing the visibility of each layers. So I'm, I'm not doing anything here. It is just the code changing the visibility of all the layers. Okay, uh, now the code has uh, finished running. So you can see a message that uh, output files are exported. And also you can see there is no asterisk mark here, which means the code has finished running. So I will go to the exported folder. Here you can see that uh, the code has exported separate maps for each of the layers. You can see the file name with the base name and name of the layer. And if you go into these maps, you can see each of the layers. In each map, it has updated, it has changed the layer and also it has updated the, the other legend elements. So I think uh, this will be very useful to automate exporting your maps and save you a lot of time. So see you again in another video.